I think this is beginning to be kind of common, but let me start with this. In my past, I was more introverted. And if you know anything about introverts, I think some of them either have a very small social circle or they may primarily mind their own business. I was into anime and playing video games pretty much in some ways to myself. Okay. As I started to change, I believe I became less introverted and started to help more people. Okay. And as it seemed, as I started to help more people, I guess it seemed like I started to have more trouble. I guess it is to be expected. If you come to me and ask for help, I can see if I am wrong, but if I am giving you biblical evidence of you being wrong and if it is right, receive it. Don't say, I think this happened with more than one person. Don't say stuff like, I think myself to be perfect. No, I don't. Don't say, I am mean and and I am not showing love and all this stuff here. Why would I even waste? Hey, I used to be an introvert or more of, I was more of an introvert. Like, why would I purposely go into a person's business and receive problems from it if I did not care. If I did not care for you in some type of way, why would I try to instruct you with the things of God? Like, I rather honestly go back to anime and video games, but I tried to do that and it did not feel right. I think ever since, now not everyone gives me problems. I think it is, I guess, not really most. I think some people, if your life isn't going well, if you come to a Bible teacher and ask that person why your life is a certain way, won't I evaluate or judge your life based upon the Bible? If you tell me you are fornicating, if you tell me you lie or if I catch you in lies, if I begin to find out more about you, and if you came to me for help, why wouldn't I tell you what you need to change? Why would you take that personally? If you want your life to change, if you want your life to get better, why wouldn't you receive what I am telling you if I am right? Like, 
if you came to me and asked me for help, what would I have to gain by being rude or mean to you? Won't I reap what I sow? Why even, why would I even waste my time if I did not care to help you? If you aren't paying me and I spend time either answering emails or talking with you, if I did not care, why would I even do it? I think some people may not value people's time. Like, I can see if you were paying me, let's say you are paying me every hour, okay. You can say <laughs> pretty much, no, you can't say whatever you want to say, but you know, you can tell me I am wrong or whatever all you want because I guess every hour you are going to pay me. You know, I would let you talk and tell me how wrong I am in a polite way. But if you're not paying me to help you, like, why would you say I don't care? Like, I am taking out my time to help you. Honestly, I'd rather... See, with me, it's like a, I guess a burning in the inside, I guess I can say, to help some people. So even if I don't really want to help certain people, there's like something inside of me, I guess I can say that pushes me to help some people, even though it may be against what I really want to do. It's like something, not in a violent way, not in a bossy way, I guess I can say, but something, you know, just, you know, like pushes me along, I guess I can say. If your life is not going too well, and you ask me for help, why expect you should not have to change? I don't understand that. From my past to how I am now, I believe I changed so much. And I believe I am continuing to change. Look now, no one, I think no one is above correction besides God, right? I believe we all need to be corrected. So if I am telling you what you need to change and what may happen to you if you don't, don't take that offensively. Don't take that like I am placing a curse upon you. Because if I told you, you will reap what you sow if you don't change that, isn't that biblical? How is that a curse if that is biblical? I believe I have a gift, a gift of discernment. And I am not saying it is really on a high level. Yes, I have to test the spirit too. Sometimes either that is discernment or the gift of knowledge or was knowledge, knowledge probably. I don't know. Let's say discernment. Sometimes random pieces of information comes to me about Yes, myself, I think, and other people. Sometimes I don't really see, sometimes I am not really given a lot of information. Sometimes I may get more with 
certain people or at certain times like it is something I can't really control if you know what I mean like I can't choose and pick <laughs> for this person I want to learn I mean I want 80% of information about this person and 10% from this person it is something that I don't really have control over if you know what I mean I believe my dad has discernment as well so if I am discerning about you and if it has been confirmed to me more than one time and if I have tested the spirit about it, and if I am right, receive it. Don't see it as a personal attack. Don't see it like I am trying to look down upon you, belittle you, or think myself to be perfect, which I don't. I want to stay away from pride I want to stay away from arrogance and stuff like that. I believe, if I am not mistaken, I believe the Bible says something about God will humble the pride. I mean, humble the prideful, perhaps, if I am saying that scripture correctly. If it is a scripture, I may have to look it up in the Bible. So if bad things will happen to me, for being prideful, let me take that stuff out of me quickly. Let me try to change that. I think some people, I think more than one person, take it in a bad way if I correct them. I need to be corrected, right? If I want to change, if I don't want to go to hell, if someone sees something in me that is not of God please tell me well I don't want to judge Uncle Kev so I am just going to let him go to hell and and let the devil tell him what his problem is that doesn't make any sense don't let me go to hell I don't want people to go to hell I don't find enjoyment in getting in conflict with people trying to help. I don't enjoy that. Honestly, sometimes I don't want to help certain type of people. But I have that burning, urging, whatever it is, to want to help some people, I believe. So... The better you receive the right things I tell you, the easier it is going to be for me. Because if you react to it in a bad way and give me a hard time, how is that going to help any of us, I guess? So if you come to me and you are asking me for help of why your life is this way or why is demons messing with you and why this and that is happening to you, take correction. Sometimes I am giving, given some information. So I may say, well, if you don't change this, this may happen to you and blah, 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 blah. Sometimes... I can tell a person something about someone I have not met. Is that me? Am I psychic? No, I hope not. I believe that is discernment. Perhaps the word of knowledge. I don't know. So please don't give Uncle Cav a hard time. I think sometimes... I already get a hard time with my own life. Like, things are easier for me now because of why. I can say, yes, God's grace. I can say that. But also, I believe I try to follow 
principles in the Bible. So what am I trying to do with you? If I am helping you, I am trying to get you to follow or to follow more of the principles in the Bible. I had someone contact me and in so many words, that person told me, Uncle Kev, or whatever that person told me, please tell me if you see something wrong with me or something like that. I was shocked <laughs> because <laughs> few people, I think few people don't mind me correcting them. I think few people, I was shocked when that person gave me that message. I was shocked. Listen now. If I want to go to heaven, if I want to grow in God, and if I need help, let me take correction. Let me receive from someone that know better than I or know something I don't know. I wish I had someone that some people have in me. I would love that. I want to elevate more in God. I really do. Some people, I think some people experience more of God than I do. I want to experience more of God. So if a person is experiencing more of God than I do, and I want to obtain that, I guess I can say, let me follow what that person say if they are correct, right? Why would I say, you are so strict, you are so bossy, when I came to that person? You know, it doesn't take all of that. Why Why are you so hard on me when that person is not being hard on me? Listen now. And I believe this to be true. I believe as you elevate in God, I think more is required of you. I believe things become more and more strict. So if you say that you are living for God and things are not really strict for you, maybe you are not on a higher level. Maybe you are on a lower level. But from my experiences, I think I have to give up more and more of myself. And I believe I am elevating in God. I believe I have to give, give more and more of myself as I elevate in God. I'm serious. Now, I think years back, you know, I thought I could still do this and still do that, but as time passed by, I believe I had to give up more and more things. So it is not me so much being strict. I think it is about how to be successful and getting closer to God. If you believe God doesn't answer prayers, maybe you are not following much or whatever of God's principles. God does answer prayers. I am so serious. There is a person I help, and I think at times that person still gets shot about that person's prayers getting answered. If you follow the principles, I believe you will get what the Bible say you will get. But if you choose to go contrary, yes, I believe God will 
reign on the just as well as the unjust. Yes, I believe the unrighteous will receive of God as well. I believe so. But if you choose not to follow his principles, how can you expect success all the time? How can you? If I correct you, which I don't see myself to be perfect, so please stop saying that, if you are saying that. If I correct you, please take it in a good way. What do I have to gain by belittling anyone, by insulting anyone, by what? I want to go to heaven. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to be prideful. So if anything is telling you I am treating you wrongly, it is probably the devil. I believe the devil doesn't want me to help you if I am helping you. Because I think more and more it's like a trend or something. I think some people are saying stuff that isn't true and then what happens sometimes then some people after a while or maybe in at a later time i get some people come back and apologize to me telling me that they were wrong hey i have feelings too i cry i get hurt I I get angry. So before you say this and that, know that I have feelings. I may not show that I am hurt. I may not always show. I mean, I may not always show that I am hurt or I am mad or whatever else, but I do have feelings. At times, I do have to ask God to calm me down. I, I do. So don't feel free to say whatever to me. Be careful in what you say to me. Don't be rude. You think you are perfect, Kevin. You think you do everything, which is not true. Okay, let me stop here. Please be nice to me. And I want to be nice to you. Let me stop here. God bless you.